Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in our FA-18C and we're playing with what must be the best weapon in DTS at the moment, the Wool-Eye, the AGM-62 Mark V Wool-Eye 2 Fat Albert, as his name, big 2,000 pound mother of a guided weapon. And today we're looking at using it in what we call long range mode. We've got an island off our nose that's about 60 miles away at the moment and it's got a rather nasty SA-11 book site on it. And we can probably do this with an S-300 site but I'm not that confident at the moment. And we can basically lob this guided bomb at that island. Official maximum range is 45 miles. We haven't figured out how to get that much range out of it yet but officially that's what it can do. So we're going to get as high and as fast as we can and essentially fire this this unpowered but guided weapon at the island in long range mode we need at least one of these missiles equipped and we need a data limp pod equipped as well max power master arm on it's already on air to ground on select the wall eye select the data link you can see we've got the we uncrossed it's good to good to go in long range mode now we're gonna uncage the weapon in fact we don't have to have a waypoint selected but just to you know it's gonna make this video a bit easier to understand if we do so I put a waypoint near the target just to show that. So you can see I'm 42 miles away at the moment. Otherwise you'd have to judge that distance by eye. I'm going to uncage the weapon. I'm going to ensure that this DDI has is selected for our TDC. So that's the sensor control switch left. That's done there. I'm now going to slew the seeker head on the missile around by holding, pressing and holding uh, TDC depress and then using the TDC slew keys to move it about. We've already looked at this in the basic short range and medium range video. We're going to select the island which is there. I'm just going to quickly double check that is the right island. It'd be a bit embarrassing if it was the wrong one. That does appear to be island there, 35 miles away. So lots and lots of speed, lots and lots of altitude. What kind of distance are you going to release from RC? Oh, 28. 28. So I'm going to get right okay, here. you do that. I'm going to get high as I possibly can. Pickle. In terms of what's more important, speed or altitude, generally altitude, but you really want both. Okay, I'm about to toss mine at 24 miles and cap is weapon release. Ping! Missile away. Right, all I need to do is just sort my trim out and put myself in barometric hold now and I'll make sure you go in a curve here because or an orbit because you don't want to run into that missile. It will shoot us down, obviously, the SA-11. Get that there and barometric hold. Let's get that trim sorted. And now concentrate on my weapon. So I'm going to depress, uh, hold TDC depress and move them about. And I can find new targets on the fly. In fact, why don't we go look for our missile? They refer to it as a missile as a bomb, obviously, but officially, I believe in the USAF it was referred to as a missile. So I think I've sent it too short here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to. Oh, I've got missiles on me now. So I'm going to actually aim above the island here. Missile's out for me. Bye. I see the missiles flying in yeah. my screen. It's a fire and forget weapon, so I can happily turn away, away now. I'm actually going to home the missile in on those smoke trails. And I hope to God I don't get hit now. If I die, then the missile will just go dumb. And uh, my missile will just go dumb and not hit anything, obviously. I'll show you the uh, ground target. That is the ground target. It is an unrealistically close set of books, but you never know. They might be stupid enough to do that. In terms of maximum range of the data link uh, to my walleye, I don't actually know. Have you got any info on that, RC? No. I'm guessing it's probably the same range as the uh, walleye itself. I don't. Uh, mine and RC's. Are, I think that's my one there, but what the data link is presumably radio. Okay, I'm clear now. I'm going to go back into barometric hold. Concentrate my DDI. I think I'm going, to short, I'm going to fall short. I wonder, you you know what we're going to start researching now? What Which SAMs can shoot down a wall eye? It's never ending, DCS. Yeah, yeah, mine's going to fall short. I think I've got mine on the money, RC. So mine was, I've actually forgotten what range mine was. I think it was about 25 miles, 25 nautical miles. Mine is 28. I don't know why I fell okay. short. Okay, I'm going to leave it locked there. Now we've got a lock on the target. I'm going to follow him in. Come on, baby. Oh, right in the middle, RC, and I took them all out. Got <laughs> them all out. That, sir, was satisfying. Right. 
So that is the long range toss lob method. As usual, there's no guidance as to which range you can fire it at. You've got to know the numbers basically, how fast your jet's going, how steep an angle you're tossing at, and so on and so forth. But how about that? I think you could probably take down an S300 at 45, 50 miles in the right aspect and turn away before the hostile missile. But that was yours. Where did yours land? I landed in the ocean. Right. Uh, oh no, it was just these things blowing up. Really tough with that. Really good weapon. And you, and you can change targets on the flight. And you can track moving targets all at this distance. Incredible weapon. Bear in mind, we're talking well early 60s for the predecessor. And this one uh, kind of late 60s, early 70s. But still an amazing weapon. Really, really good. Anything you want to add to that, RC? Nope. I hope you enjoyed that. Go, great. Go and do some extremely strenuous long-range tossing. And uh, we'll see you later.